Howdy, howdy, and welcome to episode 9 of HP 1704 Answers Your Queries. It's time to drink up all the beers. He is going to call you all a bunch of queers. It's the man with the mustache. You know him well. Answering your questions is his living hell. He likes to hunt and sleeps with a 12 gauge. He doesn't ask any questions about your sister's age. Talking to the nerds of Noob Tube, yelling yob and touching your mother's boob. Just remember all you pussies to be a dick, or you join the wall made out of retard bricks. Shout hooray or scream out for more. Here is the one and only HP 1704. For those of you who don't know, this is a weekly show where I answer the Christians and queries from the Noob Tube community. Now let's get on with the questions. If you found a cockroach in your salad, what would you do with it? Trick question. Why would I be eating a salad? Next. What do you think about Canadians? They aren't Americans, and they don't drink the same beer as us. Well, Fuzzy, well, that's two strikes against the Canadians. Uh, they are a peaceful people who, as far as I can tell, don't do nothing. They can't stop England from controlling everything they do, which is something Americans did about uh, 225 years ago. So they're a little slow in the head, you know. But like most uh, mentally challenged people, uh, Canadians don't pose a threat to anyone. All Canadians are made of snow, and they'll melt. They will melt right in your hands, like um, the opposite of M&M's. Think of Canadians that way. They're the opposite of M&M's. Next! Why don't you import your beer from Canada? Why do you insist on drinking that pussy American beer? Well, Locke, it's like... Wait a second. What did you say to me? Why do you insist on drinking that pussy American beer? Say that again to my face. Pussy. Oh. American. <laughs> Beer. <laughs> meow, me, meow, 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 meow. Shut up. Oh. According to my calculations, I should be in Canada. Oh, this will help. Smells like fear and maple syrup. So I'm either in Canada or I'm in Maine. Tastes like the inability to defend oneself militarily. So I'm in Canada. I'm coming for you, Locke. I'll show you a pussy beer with my fist. Wait a minute. I thought you weren't allowed to cross the border. Oh. Oh. No border can hold me, bitch. Maybe all Canadians need to be taught a lesson by the O4. Next! Who do you hate most in the world? Canadians. Next! If you could say, fuck you, to anybody, who would it be? The O4 can say fuck you to anyone, including all of Canada. Look for your Christmas cards, Canada. Because it's going to have a fuck you from the O4. And, you know, maybe a, maybe a snow globe on the front, because I like those. Next! What is the most evil snack? Is it flapjacks? Well, the most evil snack, I think. Canadian bacon. Next. If you were God, what country would you smite first? Well, Lukey, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, engage in blaspheming. Uh, you know, I am not God. Uh, only God is God. 
and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is also God. Um, so I guess that's two people who are God, but you know, they're the same person. Anyway, uh, you know, I'm not going to be blasphemous, but I will tell you that uh, there is going to be something new in my prayers every day. And God can get around us smiting Canada whenever he has time, really. I mean, it's not high up there on the list. It's not like Canada's doing anything, you know. Um, they're, they're pretty much invisible on the global economy, um, you know. Uh, we really don't need them for nothing, you know. Uh, I I won't even answer the question about what I would do if I was God, because I'm not God. God is God. Keep that in mind. But um, you know, he usually answers my questions and my prayers. You know, watch out, Canada. You could go from irrelevant to, you know doubly irrelevant next now it's time for our featured Christian of the week and this week our featured Christian is from Canada man who's new to the forums and nobody's talked to him because he's you know he's so new that no one knows who he is you know he's he's new is what I'm trying to get at like all Canadians, I'm a big, dumb, stupid head. What would it take for you to... Okay, I'm not going to finish reading this. This obviously was written by you. I did not. That doesn't, that doesn't even sound like anything I would write. You give me one reason why I shouldn't destroy Kinder. And everyone in it. Alicia Cuthbert. Is she a Canadian then? Yes, she is. Oh, okay, wait. Wait. Are we talking about her from 24, or her from The Girl Next Door? What am I, stupid? The Girl Next Door, Alicia Cuthbert. Okay. You know, maybe maybe we can start the peace process. Yeah, you know, peace is great. Everybody likes peace. You can have sex with blonde chicks, then. You can't do that during a war, you can't you know, have sex with a blonde during a war. That's just irresponsible. Because there are people fighting and dying. But, you know, in, in peacetime, you know, sure, sure. Just, you grab yourself a blonde and you, you go to town. You go to town and you watch a movie. And, uh, you know, you cut a hole in the bottom of a popcorn tub. That's what I do. You know, because nobody likes popcorn, but they have those big old tubs, you know. And then, then you, you you put yourself in the in the little hole in the bottom. That's a classy move by, by someone who's not desperate. Well, that's all the questions for this week. If you want to leave me a question, just post in this thread or PM me. If you want to remind me of another reason why I should not destroy Canada. Because right now i got one. Um... You know, maybe there are other reasons that I shouldn't destroy Canada. Like, um, well, you know, they, uh, yeah, they, uh, yeah, you know, uh, s snow cones are good. You know, that's, that's like a retarded way of making ice cream. What? We don't have cows here. Uh, you know, let's just flavor some snow. It's not bad. Um, you know, the the first couple bites, you're like, whoa, this is really good. And then, then the flavoring doesn't kind of hit the other bites. And then you got, like, syrup in the cone itself. And you're just like, oh, this is too much syrup. You know, um, but for, like, three or four bites, you're like, this is the best thing ever. Especially if you're Canadian, you you've never had like, like ice cream or ice cream sandwiches or like, you know, food that isn't made out of snow. Well, that's all the Christians for this week. Until next week, I'm done. Yab. Hey, I thought they took away your passport. Oh.